हेलो आदाब नमस्ते डी यू नो मैनी वीमेन अराउंड हु आर स्पेंडिंग ऑल द टाइम इन रेजिंग द चिल्ड्रन एंड दे कम्स अ टाइम इन द लाइफ वेन दे फील ओके नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग फॉर माई ओन लाइफ आई वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट समथिंग एंड बी एन ऑन्टरप्रनोर इन दैट स्टेड वी हैव कम टू मीट गीतिका बत्रा हु इज़ अ फाउंडर इन फैक्ट शी इज़ अ सीरियल ऑन्टरप्रनोर एंड शी इज़ फाउंडेड नॉट वन बट थ्री कंपनीज विच गो बाय द नेम रागा इवेंट्स मैनेजमेंट दुबई गोल्डफेश पी आर कम्युनिकेशंस इंडिया एंड कॉमिक्स थ्री एंड ऑल दीज थ्री वेंचर्स आर सिमिलर येट वेरी वेरी डिफरेंट दिस मॉम ऑफ ट्वेंस स्टार्टेड हर बिजनेस वेन शी वॉज थर्टी एट टूडे इलेवन ईयर्स हैंस शी हैज क्रिएटेड अ लाइफ फॉर हर ओन एंड क्रिएटेड अ बिजनेस विच एक्चुअली गिवस अ मच मोर सेटिस्फैक्शन एंड समथिंग विच ऑल ऑन्टरप्रनोर्स क्रेव फॉर सो कम लेट्स मीट हर Hi Gitika. Hi. How has it been, you know, as a mother of twin kids and uh, handling all your houses and then giving it all up to start your own venture? So Sophia, for me, it's a uh, very um, interesting journey, I would say. Always, still, till date, whatever I am, whoever I am, I am very clear with my priorities in terms of my priorities are always my family first. Whether they are my kids, my my parents, my family, my house, that comes first always for me, and then comes my other interests and passions, which has been converted into my profession now. Do you think uh, it comes upon women that you know they've always got to prioritize their kids and family? or is it because us women are actually like that i i think uh, there is a lot of uh, myths and hypes about uh, being uh, a woman uh, of course i love enjoying being a woman and we have our own perks also uh, maybe i have not seen uh, that side where uh, women been uh, dominated or exploited thankfully and uh, of course we have to create some kind of awareness and um, uh, you know to change the world but then um, for me uh, i think uh, we women come with that responsibility uh, naturally really it's not that someone has asked us to do or someone forces us to do some a natural instinct for a woman because a woman True. has to be a mother a daughter a, um a wife so so you know all these relationships they carry off very well i feel right so you were living that uh, happy married woman life yeah what triggered you to start something um uh, so as i said i have always been a hands on uh, mother and i was not in india for a very long time and you were based in dubai uh yes um the family is still based in dubai so um i come from a mindset uh, where uh, we have that independence and freedom of you know doing things what we like and i think for me it was always uh, clear what i like so first it was always clear i want to be a wife i was a wife i became a wife um then i became mother you know so i was very passionate about being a mother and uh, god has blessed me with twin kids girl and boy and today they are 21 years old so that's my biggest achievement when i saw them growing up with uh, and shaping up their career their lives in a very good way and very mature way as compared to the new generation so i'm i'm very happy what i've done there now then comes to my passion which is uh, to create something for myself is as a business empire or as a legacy for my children and my interest always lies in people you know if i could do something and where people people are smiling where people i see happy faces for people so i find had curated a lot of events just by default just by my interest uh, for my family for my friends and 
suddenly it became a little more um, uh, you know elevated when people started connecting me in Gurgaon that okay why don't you curate an event for us you know mm. whether it's a eating outlet or whether it's a book launch or whether it's uh, uh, something to do uh, with PR and media so that's how you know I started with a lot of passion so uh, when you started the first company in Dubai what was it named and how did you go about it so uh, the company's uh, name in Dubai is Raga Events Management. We started as a vendor or as a company to provide end-to-end uh, -end solutions to the brands. Brands in terms of, uh, um, uh, you know, like uh, giving them all the hand uh, hold support where their brand is growing uh, visibility within the target audience, which is still the mantra for our right. uh, company in India. And um, uh, in Dubai also, we are registered vendors with Dubai World Trade Center, where our uh, customers actually participated in one of the biggest food festivals called Gulf Food Festival. So that's we, huge. That's yeah, that's a big brand. Renowned. Absolutely. And it's been uh, keeping the consistency from long time now. So in those times, I'm talking about 10 years back, 11 years back, influencers and bloggers were not much of a uh, trending uh, uh, segment, you know, because they were bloggers, they were good bloggers who used to write review but not as much as uh, now the social media has taken over mm -hmm. so we had done a lot of traditional way of marketing for them in terms of um, creating a very nice uh, setup uh, in Gulf Food Festival you know uh, uh, giving them and helping them with a lot of teams who uh, are in place uh, to make aware about uh, uh, their brand to people who are walk-ins in the Gulf Food Festival mm -hmm. and then a lot of uh, social media media marketing also, uh, the internet marketing also in terms of website, in terms of SEOs and um, so, so on. So that is my company in Dubai. So what made you shift from Dubai to India? Uh, so uh, there were some family decisions to be taken and uh, we as family I think as I said my our priority is always uh, uh, in for the family so um, uh, you know because of some decisions some um, uh, so the elderly person gets sick in the family you have to take care of them mm -hmm. so my parents my in-laws you know all all that family mm -hmm. uh, thing and uh, we took that decision much okay yeah so uh, was it easy to wrap up a successful business in Dubai and come to Gurgaon and start something with zero possibly. You know, thankfully, uh, uh, in Dubai, I uh, started my business after very long uh, of my stay in Dubai. Because when I was there, I was only into my motherhood. I was not able to get out of it. And I didn't want to get out So what happened, I started my company and after three years of that company, I we had to take the decision to move uh, from Dubai. Um, those three years, I enjoyed a lot. They said that destiny, like how whatever is destined, I think we all believe in that and somewhere or the other things keep unfolding us in front of us to right. Uh, start believing in this you know mm -hmm. so uh, similarly with me I think whatever happened happened for good for better um, I uh, created another I, I explored another segment altogether in the country is growing country in terms of economy in terms of business in terms sure. of uh, all the future uh, futuristic concepts and uh, so that's how the whole transformation has uh, become a part has happened so you remember your first project that you started here when you came back in India? Oh yes, oh yes, that's a very interesting story. Just very quickly I'll uh, mm -hmm. tell you. Um, so when I came to India and uh, I had no clue what I'm going to do, right? Because though I had started an events company in Dubai, but still doing events in Gurgaon or India, again, it's a very big task unless you have con connections, you don't know anyone. It's a, it's a, again an alien country sure. for you, though you belong to the country. But when you stay away from the country from some place for so long, you really realize that you know like um, they, you need to be there to penetrate more uh, you know towards any um, uh, kind of work and uh, for me it was uh, a, a clueless situation and my family of course came to my rescue and okay something like you know the rich daughter the rich people's daughter wife or um, uh, um, um, sister to uh, salon khol ke bad jo or salon invest kar lo ya boutique khol lo ya you know restaurant khol lo so 
I opted for the same thing and I end up uh, opening a restaurant. Restaurant in, this, in terms of cafe in Gurgaon because cafe concept was catching up right. in Gurgaon and uh, Gurgaon is very aware and very uh, progressive market I would say. So uh, we uh, opened a small outlet in Gurgaon and uh, that's how my networking started. So okay. I so so it was in a partnership and then they, the brand belongs to somebody else. They wanted an investor or a promoter to invest in certain outlets to take it forward. We did that. I invested in two outlets. And uh, um, my first condition was that I'll always be an active partner because, of course, I wanted to do something. And uh, I also got more precise when I told them that I'll be looking after the marketing part. Okay. And they were all very shocked because marketing may make a lot of things, but us specific specific vicinity ka nahi pata right. specific area ka ya uh, field ka nahi pata mm -hmm. ki kaise karna hai. i said no i'll be doing that so i took up that challenge i did uh, a wonderful job why because for 18 months we ran that outlet due to some internal differences we had to shut down but that has given me a reach uh, of people and a network where people started recognizing me, where people right. started uh, know me um, more than the restaurant. Because mm. uh, so they used to feel that, okay, I am the PR person for that restaurant. Be, okay. You know, not on, uh, only an owner or a founder. They just found that I have been into the PR and the marketing space uh, for long and I'm doing some good job, irrespective of the restaurant shutdown. So it's not only restaurant shuts down to for a you know there are so many factors there are so many True. reasons why a business doesn't work right and um, so uh, i would also want to thank very uh, important people in my life so megha and suvit kalra mm -hmm. they are owners of the restaurant called ardor a R D O R order 2.1. That's the one that is in CP. Absolutely. We all know about it. Absolutely. So very old uh, lounge place right. and a very successful running uh, lounge place. And then they connected with me and then they are like, uh, okay, we are coming up in Gurgaon and we have our CP restaurant. So why don't you do something with us for us? You know, I said, I don't mind because uh, at that time I have developed good network where I feel that I can promote their place in the right audience. And mm -hmm. then they are very famous with their big big thalis true, you know the, the most economic mm -hmm. um, uh, meals they provide right so I was very happy doing that so I worked with them for two to three years and simultaneously a lot of more F&B uh, outlets have come in contact with them and mm -hmm. uh, with me and I started working for them with them um, so um, before pre-COVID this is the pre-COVID area where I explored a lot of F&B in Gurgaon space right. in Delhi in Gurgaon space not touched Noida yet mm -hmm. but uh, very comfortable in my work very happy with what, what I was doing in right. terms of monetary also and in terms of the um, sentiment in terms of delivering and executing what you are doing mm. um, I was very happy so um, and uh, you know there were four, few more good people come uh, together to just support me I have never promoted my brand never promoted my company that okay oh I am a PR I have found a, a new company or formed a new company in India and you know now I'm ready to take business or give me business Everything just comes with the recommendations. So, you know, that gives you a feeling of uh, more, you know, encouragement and True. motivation to do more better. That means that you have actually spread your name within that span of time, right. irrespective of very big dhurandas in the, in the place of in the field, in the same space. Still, you have that name. So that has given me a lot of responsibility and uh, uh, clarification in my mind that, okay, now, uh, and you know, at the same time, the kids, kids were growing up. When I came right. to India, of course, the kids were going through their teenager, mm. adolescent age, and they were growing up. And um, I was uh, very happy balancing both because I have been working in my comfort zone so far. So um, that way is I've always been blessed. And um, yes, then the pandemic happened and then How the whole situation yeah, changed. And uh, then I revamped the whole thing. So during the pandemic, I have not done anything, not done. Like everything was shut, especially the hospitality, travel so, so. Um, and uh, hotel industry was totally uh, not working. And uh, so I took a break also with that of, of, of those five years of 
of my working and thing and then i when i had to start so i had given up at one point of time again okay. during the pandemic because uh, some uh, you know like uh, tragedies had hit the family also in terms of my father's uh, ailing father he got bedridden during that time and we all were affected with the you know like uh, with, with the thing uh, mentally and physically so i had given up and i said nahi nahi main bas itna hi karna tha mujhe and ho gaya do you consider it the lowest point of your mm. life not lowest lowest was when i came to india for me oh yes and why would that be so uh, because i uh, again so you, you know when you had that luxurious comfort right. table life and uh, now you are also settling up with your work and then you had to start restart all over right. again whether it's in it's your network it's your mm-hmm. uh, friends and it's your you know that comfort zone so that was my lowest point but now i'm very happy that actually we took that decision true so as i said like whatever happened happens for the good so covid was one of the low- covid was one of the phases where i had given up that i would would not want to continue with my work kyunki ab kya ab to sab kuch band ho gaya ab to sab kuch khatam ho gaya you know those i i went into that right. uh, era so uh, but again as i said i have really really been blessed with people so uh, i want to give credit to kabir uh, he is a dear friend an astrologer a vp with an it company astrologer by passion now he's uh, taking his uh, astrology in a very good way i really okay. wanted you to meet him also once we will you have to because okay. that is one content that is one uh, you know uh, guest i would like to bring him uh, uh, in front of people because he is sure. very genuine and full of knowledge in terms of the astrology which mm-hmm. people believe in um so uh, he's come up with his own website called edu astro uh, a okay. very uh, big website which where he's providing solutions from all the aspects right. and have big experts on board like vastu expert mm-hmm. num- numerologist palmist okay. so all these people so he's based in bangalore okay and he is a, a passionate author also so he was so during covid he also explored with his um, uh, skills and you know potential and he wrote a book okay. uh, which is called a mindful mind Mm-hmm. I'm a very bad reader. I don't read books, and um, uh, he came. Uh, he got connected to me, and we were always connected from last seven years because he was one of my first friends whom I found when I came to India, irrespective of living in different cities. Okay. You know, so thanks to again social media portals for mm. some women portal I joined, and there you know somebody recommended his name, and okay. that's how I got in touch with him because at that time I was going through a lowest phase, mm. and I don't. Uh, I never used to believe in astrology or any kind of not believe. believe but i have never been aware about the uh, things in a right, right way i think we all mm. are mostly not aware about things True. so we we start saying ki hum believe hi nahi karte usme mm-hmm. jab aapko pata hi nahi hai to aap ke paas option kya hai Correct. believe karne ka ya na karne ka so uh, so i got connected with kabir and then kabir uh, told me that uh, i need your help i said yes so he says you are into events and pr i was thinking ki mai thi ab nahi hu i mean maine kyunki decide kar liya tha ki mai nahi right. karungi and uh, so he is like uh, i am i have to uh, i have created a book i have uh, written a book now the launch has to happen in gurgaon I okay. said, what is that? You are based in Bangalore, and mm. you can easily launch in your corporate uh, circle, and you know, start selling in Amazon, and that's how. So he's like, no, no, Gurgaon is a good market, and make one. Uh, you have to. You will be the one who will restart yourself with my book. I said, ये तुम मेरे को लॉन्च करने के लिए बुक लॉन्च कर रहे हो या तुमको अपनी बुक लॉन्च करनी है तो इट वॉज अ वेरी फनी वेरी इमोशनल वेरी क्यूट इंसिडेंट एंड ही इज लाइक नहीं नहीं तुम करो सो ही ही हैज अंडरस्टूड माई साइकी बाई देन बिकॉज नाउ ही नोज मी सो मच इन साइड आउट सो इज नहीं नहीं तुमको बुक लॉन्च करनी है मेरी तुम देखो कैसे करना है देन आई स्टार्टेड हैविंग दैट यू नो गैदरिंग दैट गर्ल्स एंड इंटरेस्ट के मेरे को चलो कुछ करने के लिए है एंड आई रियली वॉन्ट टू गो अबाउट इट वेल and he has shown so much faith in me confidence in me that i couldn't uh, uh, leave any stone unturned to disappoint him you know right. so we uh, launched the book 11th december 2021 mm-hmm. and uh, dude after the second wave yeah. and uh, uh, it was a fabulous launch with 200 people attending the launch amazing and it was not expected and thankfully the launch where we did it's it's a very beautiful pub terrace place called nowhere nowhere okay. is located in gurgaon mm-hmm. dlfo and again the uh, owner of nowhere very dear friend very nice friend believes in me you know you sometimes mm-hmm. you just right. get motivated with good people sure. around you and uh, i think i am that person i need that motivation you know self motivation nahi ho pata sometimes so 
I, I need those people and God has given me such bunch of people. Uh, so he uh, provided with the space, he provided with all the arrangements. I called Kabir to launch the book and there were all the people, all the women g went very happy uh, uh, buying the books at the uh, launch and uh, then Amazon selling also happened eventually. Kabir was very happy and uh, everybody was like, uh, uh, it's, it's fabulous. I mean, it restarted uh, my right. events again. Mm -hmm. So that's how, where the second, uh, 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 you know, you can Please. say... Of the your phase of started. my uh, entrepreneurial journey has started, yes. So was this the time when you also changed the name of the company? So, um, yes. So um, I was very uh, much into F&B pre-COVID. Post-COVID, of course, there are so much uh, concepts in health and right. uh, uh, lifestyle, beauty, wellness have mm -hmm. come up and I wanted to explore that also. Um, so, uh, uh, yes, I um, revamped the whole company's name and uh, more services been added and uh, taking more into wellness right. and Right, right. health and other clients than the uh, uh, FNB. That's all. So, uh, talking about clients, how many clients do you have on board right now? So, Sophia, uh, it's not many people I work with. I work on two bases. So, Goldfish PR and Communications work with um, uh, two categories, you know. Uh, so, one is um, on retainer where we are giving them uh, solutions, uh, right. brand visibility solutions for a certain number of uh, period of time, maybe mm -hmm. three months, six months, one year. And second is the project basis. If right. a launch has come, if anything to be done specifically with that product or service, mm -hmm. we do that. So there are two things we do. Okay. And also I would tell you in Goldfish has three verticals. So what are the three verticals? One is to work with brand visibility with right. the brands with the with the businesses mm -hmm. we want to convert them into brands so the tagline of goldfish is from business to brand okay. because everyone opens business but everyone wants to make it a brand true that's very true it, and it's a journey it so is. from business to brand there's a big you know journey uh, mm -hmm. uh, big big uh, so many things take place during right. this journey so we do that uh, one one aspect and the second aspect of goldfish is to work with corporates exclusively okay. corporates in terms of their internal for their internal teams uh, right. in terms of providing some experiences to their teams whether it's wellness experience recreational experience or uh, some kind of entertainment any anything to or team building exercises mm -hmm. so we do a lot of corporate events purely okay. corporate events within the corporates Fine. third is to create uh, to have goldfish own property independent property Okay. So, um, uh, what is that now? So, IPs, creating IPs are very difficult nowadays. Mm -hmm. So, this is this has nothing to do with the brand, but at the same time, we give a lot of brand chances to be a part of that uh, uh, IP. And the first IP we created last year, 2023, which is called Comics 3. Okay. So, I will come back to your uh, question of the clients one when you asked. I'm, I just want to elaborate the goldfish aspect. So, mm -hmm. these are the three aspects, you know, okay. uh, which goldfish does. Coming back to clients, I take again clients as per my um, uh, terms and choices um, because if I believe in certain brand, if I believe in certain service or product, I mm -hmm. would definitely want to take it forward. True. I would uh, I would be able to justify it fullest when right. I have believed in that uh, brand, in that mm -hmm. and that uh, business, and that's how I work. So I keep four to five clients on retainer on monthly okay. basis at one time, mm -hmm. and this is how the graph is going. That too without advertising about Goldfish. Which so, is phenomenal. I, uh, this is one thing, you know, that has actually kept me going that without being, um, having any kind of social media presence or uh, uh, doing a lot of content for my company, I still have work with me and good right. work I'm doing. True, true. The rest is, I think my clients know better what kind of work I do for them, but yes. Uh, I think uh, it's more about the journey wherein you're going rather than uh, having those peaks or those markers because when you feel satisfied as an entrepreneur that is the time you should feel that yes I've made a successful business is it so I think yes to an extent because that gives you clarity that how you would want to go ahead and if you want to go ahead right so this right. has happened in my case I mm -hmm. have done good work in that 
five to six years of uh, time uh, minus COVID. Um, and uh, uh, I have found myself very passionate about what I do. I mm -hmm. uh, am doing it very um, uh, dedicatedly. Of course, everyone does their work dedicatedly. I'm not denying sure. on that thing. But I really feel that I have got the clarity that I can do this now. So I have to take it forward. I have to uh, create a legacy. And there is a lot of work in the market. If you are doing good work, there is a lot of work in the sure. market. Even though you promote or not, but mm -hmm. again, promoting your own work is is a first step, which right. you should be doing. Mm -hmm. So I had done so much work, but I have never documented. Wo sab maze maze mein ho gaya, kar liya. Ki aapne mm -hmm. kam liya, kar liya. It has never been documented. Now I uh, realize the importance of documenting your work. Right. But I had done uh, 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 much more better work, uh, you know, and fruitful things, and I've never documented. So basically, chappan bhog bana kar khaliya. Khaliya, but chappan bhog kisi ko pata hi nahi bana. True, <laughs> you know. So, uh, so I have realized hmm. certain things which I would have done, and but it's never too late. I am very happy with my journey, with my things. However, right. I'm growing, or uh, uh, in what way I'm growing, and what pace I'm growing, I'm good with that. Now I think it's time to take it to another level where I feel that I need um, uh, to spread m with more businesses because there is a dearth I'm finding for good PR. Okay. Everyone is doing PR. Everyone mm -hmm. is an influencer. Everyone right. is into events. Everyone is a That's makeup true. artist. Believe me. And now mm -hmm. everyone will be a podcaster. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> I get that feeling. <laughs> no, it's not like that. But, you know, how the trend comes. Oh, true. I think they say that what you see, what you see. I have changed it a little bit. What you see, what you see. That is true. So, I feel that you take a trend and it becomes all of them. Yeah, even in beauty, if we see, हमने पहले एलोवेरा उठाया एलोवेरा ही बन गया बस वही है फिर चाकूल पे आ गए चाकूल बन गया अब क्या क्या आ गया है कि क्या क्या कर रहे हैं यू नो सो व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से दैट एवरीवन डज एवरीथिंग बट हाउ मच दे जस्टिफाई दे यू नो दे डू दैट प्रॉपर थिंग व्हाट दे हैव टू डिलीवर हाउ मच दे नो अबाउट देयर वर्क दैट्स मोर इंपॉर्टेंट आई फील आल्सो आई थिंक यू हैव गॉट टू बी यूनिक इन व्हाटएवर यू डूइंग that would help you stand apart from the rest of the crowd sophia i believe personally there is nothing to be unique mm -hmm. there is no nothing like what what is uniqueness what is unique no see ye keh ke ke na har aadmi ab out of the way ja ja ke unique banne ki koshish kar raha hai irrespective of unko pata hi nahi hai wo uniqueness kya hai okay so i feel that unique nahi hona hai aapko lekin aapko jo kaam करना है उसके बारे में आपको पूरा पता होना चाहिए कि आप क्या कर रहे हो आप अपने आप यूनिक हो जाते हो अगर आप एज अ पी आर एजेंसी आप यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग विद गुड सोल्यूशंस मीनिंगफुल सोल्यूशंस राइट टारगेट ऑडियंस हेल्पिंग द ब्रांड और द बिजनेस और द ओनर्स टू फाइंड देयर नीश इन द मार्केट देर आर सो मैनी थिंग्स गोइंग ऑन अ पर्सन हु इज इन्वेस्टिंग इन देयर बिजनेस विद ऑल देयर हार्ड on resources whether it's money whether it's time whether it's efforts energy everything they you know they uh, uh, spend so much of capital uh, in the business and then they bring the very good product um, uh, to the market service or product i'm addressing as a product they feel that ab iske beyond to kuch hai hi nahi because isme to hamara sara passion sara dedication sara experience aur paise lag gaye hain to but now what next Hmm. they still lack the on the understanding a lot a lot of people i'm not saying everyone hmm. but a lot of people uh, lack in understanding that how to take the product forward or how to grow and know um, more people to know about their product hmm. i mean hmm. how how to you know make them know about your product the, there comes the right pr and the marketing people because um, to recognize whether your business is for classes and masses or in the middle somewhere right. what are the costings what what kind of uh, selling points you are uh, hmm. getting into e-commerce or retail or b2b b2c however uh, first uh, of then these things things have happened then to recognize your target audience you know right. a lot of people are actually doing same things repeatedly whether it's for the niche brands whether it's True. for the ordinary brand whether it's for anybody it has to be a difference it has to be a very very specifically targeted um, uh, activities and exercises a pr should do for a business this is what my understanding right. is with all the experiences i have gained so gitika can you take us through let's say a pr campaign that you would devise your way for uh, 
let's say any F and B brand. Hmm. Can you take us through that journey? Um, see, PR campaign, I would uh, not uh, want to elaborate on that, but yes, definitely I would say that uh, the framework is same, the frame is same, but the fittings are different. So okay. when you are fitting uh, into that frame something, you have to be, uh, again, uh, know a lot of things about the vicinity of where the place outlet is, about the target audience, about the cost, about the menu, about the cuisine, about the right. chefs, about the uh, a lot of things, you know, that's mm -hmm. what I said. I go detail into my uh, clients business and then I propose them or I offer them that kind of solutions what I'm okay. looking at so basically the activities are same if you count on seven to eight activities which my mm -hmm. uh, company provides to them PR media influencers events celebrities uh, uh, right. you know like SEOs uh, social media social digital media traditional media these are the seven to eight uh, activities which remain the same but the uh, everything differently goes in each activity. True. As per the Client requirement, requirement and as per the brand. Okay. So moving on from your PR business, you also mentioned something called Comics 3. Yeah. The word sounded very interesting. Yeah. What does it ex exactly mean? What are you doing there? Uh, yeah, so that's also again very um, uh, funny incident. So when I was uh, curating, I ha was having an event, you know, with mm -hmm. all my friends at one of the lounges uh, recently launched in Gurgaon, uh, post-COVID. And uh, we were all standing, chatting and, uh, you know, so I laugh a lot. I uh, end up laughing at anything and everything. Okay. That's what my friends tell me. But uh, some of my friends are really funny, you know, they're very funny. So sometimes we were just talking and laughing and uh, I said, Ki tumko so, stand-up banna chahiye. So, they said ke, achha, to tum uh, hume banao stand-up, tum karo, show, hum perform karenge. You know, that's how the whole concept has started of Comics 3. So, Comics 3 is inspired by Comics Tan and Comics Sutra. The USP of Comics 3 is that women are the performers. Okay. So, women and from, women, women, women from any walk are the performers. We are not inviting known people we do invite known people also but uh, basically we are giving the platform to women who have that flair for mm -hmm. comedy humor and you know who are always uh, throwing jokes with their poker faces in a you know very witty manner so we are uh, looking for those women who want to uh, display their uh, showcase their talent so this is something comics 3 we started and that's how our first show happened in 2023 march and uh, it's one year now today Right. when we founded Com Comics 3. So first show happened with a bunch of friends who were very keen to perform and all those four to five uh, friends have been given eight to ten minutes of that slot so that it will not be bored, uh, boring right. also for people. We don't know what kind of content is true, coming out from true. them, you know. <laughs> so again, Samir uh, from Nowhere has um, uh, supported us to create in his cafe uh, okay. the show, first show. And uh, we sold out tickets. We, we kept it very nominal in terms of $3.99, $4.99 mm -hmm. rupees, including everything. Come enjoy the show and uh, have beer, have your snacks, you know, like like uh, do your networking. So we end up again uh, having 170 people in my first show. So that was a very good thing for me. Uh, right. You know, people uh, were interested and went very happily and looked forward for the second show. So second show, I was not very keen to do in that short interval of time because I need more preparations. And this time mm -hmm. I was coming up with more planning and right. stuff. Uh, but then we did it in May, in the month of May, last May. And we did it with auditions this time. Okay. So what we did, we had a, a form and uh, we had... Uh, boosted the posts on Instagram and how that's how we got the contestants from across India and some of them came for uh, auditions and then we filtered and then we found three to four people who could you know perform in the show and then they did the comedy and people liked it and they they the, the performers also were very happy that they got something like this for the first time they've been right. doing in the college and in their family functions so um, that's how the second show happened now I'm preparing for the third show bigger show in 2024 end of 2024 that is amazing all the very best thank you for the next show thank as you. well as for your journey 
and thank, thank you so you, much Sophia. for your insights into your journey into thank the you. PR industry Absolutely. and the interesting work that you're doing. Thank you, and I really want to thank um, uh, your channel, Indian Business Legends. Thank you. Actually, you have uh, you are uh, you know वो हीरा जोहरी वाली बात हो रही है कि you pick up a lot of meaningful people mindfully, very mindfully. What I've seen the content, and uh, uh, we are knowing about them. We, you know that's a very good way uh, to bring them in front. Uh, what they are doing, what they are going through their journey, and how they are uh, putting up. That's so. the whole motivation behind starting India's business legends. Correct. That is, we want people from different spheres to tell us what they're doing in the business, how their journey has been, and where do they want to go from here. Correct. So in that stead, we had Gitika with us, and stay tuned. We'll be back with another interesting episode next week. Thank bye you. Bye bye.